Okay, folks, these two objects are right there all the time. So, this is Hawaii. We got lots of stuff to look at. The schnott nozzle is going to come up over there in a minute. Uh, currently, there's our Navy shot. The latest earthquakes up in Alaska. As you see there, and we'll keep the earth going the right direction. And we've had a big quake down. We're getting some low ones, folks, down here. 4.9. Been a lot of it off Antarctica. So there's been a lot of quakes down there. Go through the time clock on it a little bit, going back. This is going backwards. I mean, the Earth's going the direction it's supposed to go, but we're basically including all the. If we drag it back, you'll see the majority of the action. Mass over there on the Ring of Fire to the west. And like I say, we really picked up on the bottom. Alaska's still going, okay, but the idea that we've really picked up on the lower portion of the earth. So, got to pay attention to these big quakes on the bottom, 6-2. So, Super giants, folks. They start there and are there. That's the whole ring of fire, the super giants. And they're getting closer and closer because we're getting closer into the sun. As the comet will show you that we are. As this plays through, you will see the comet joy, that they call it, coming through. Okay. Then I'm going to go through the pictures and you'll see and also play this here video for you. So the idea that it has a very big path and it looks like it goes up and over. So the idea that, to me, the sun has done some dramatic magician trick. Because watch. And for a few people that don't know, this is the sun. Okay. So all the material popping in and out of the sun there, folks. That's the comet streak going through. It really clears through all that stuff. So imagine all the stuff that's getting hit out there. So I here's and it just disappears and goes by real fast, okay? And as you can see, moving back out and away very, very fast. Because watch the clock. I mean it was gone on the sixteenth, right? Which is today. The 16th is today. You watch the clock down there and it's going to take off on this. Come in and be gone. You see how it flashed and was gone? Okay, so. That flashed and was gone fast, right? Watch it leave again. should be able to see the clock. Watch the clock. And there, it's gone. You see it slip away to the right, okay? So once again, folks, this is Hawaii, and it's already starting up with the idea that there's nothing really besides the two blotches that we always see there that are always there. I've got the other video loading up again. The other one, the other view that you'll see in there comes are either more than likely Raglos Canteris B, which is a hell of a long ways away. It's like four point something or something. I could be totally wrong on the light years, but it's way the hell out. Okay, but it's very large and very bright. So... We've seen Lovejoy Comet come around, and then this, okay, that's the big schnott nozzle. That's pretty much the action. I don't think there'll be anything more exciting through there. I'll take a look at it and add it to the end of the video or make another video if there's anything more than that. But there is it, and you can see the time that when it came up, it's just now going into the 1 o'clock half hour there, and it'll be at 1, 1 a.m. Okay, so that's not the sunrise in Hawaii, folks. That's Rigel Canteris B, or until we prove what other supergiant sun or what sun it is, or bright star. So once again, on that red footage, you've seen it. You know, this is the path that comes in, and then it's just real small and ends up going out here. It's probably one of these dark spots that you end up seeing come out from this side after the deal. So, so here we go, and now you're going to see a dramatic loop. But the idea... You watch this bugger, and the idea is 
So boom. Now we still have that, okay? You seen on the other one that it boom, it was gone, okay? On the red, it's totally gone. So once again, walk the clock. I hope yep, there you go. And bam, see it's gone. Okay? Or something went bomb and gone, right? Watch it because it's going to be basically it's going to pop right here and going to take off. I mean, Shazamo. Okay? It's going to be hella gone. And even another one, there are literally two or three of them. Okay, and the reason I say that, now there's our dark halo that we're ending up seeing. Okay, that that gives us dark light down on. There's some kind of dark creation in the supergiants that's allowing, it must be all the dirt and mass that it's into in the, in the supergiants as you see in the video when you are watching, when you are basically watching this. All the grit that's up there that's in space, all the material is creating a haze and getting that dark shots down at Antarctica that we keep seeing those halos, those dark halos. Okay? So I got Hawaii loading again and let's go take a look at these pictures. And the clock is at 1.25 a.m. on this. And you will see this and uh, that's Casey's station down there. Here's the clock and before it, okay? Coming up basically. So here's the photos beginning with what we saw. This is from behind, okay? So the idea as I go forward in these pictures, this will be behind, okay? So all these shots are from behind. Okay, and then there's Fireball. Basically, Rigel Cantera Speed doing the same action you just saw at Hawaii. Brings up the pretty much uh, laser effect. And it's burning through the clouds at night. These are all nighttime shots. So this stuff is burning through the night. And then when it's clear, you get these comets that are coming by. So you go outside and get a nice comet. Show. And then here we go with this big, big comet. Now, if you pay attention to these triangulations and these stars, you'll see it moving and it's coming toward us. And I'll even upload another one or maybe we'll have another clear shot instead of an x-ray black one. So you see these shots coming through. And this is all from behind. There's Casey Station again. And then you'll see the order. And there it comes up down there. But this is not that comet. It's basically this is our object that keeps coming up in front of Rigel Cantera B at that 1.25 a.m. UTC time. So then, there we go. We have an interesting fee there. This was it coming in. That was This was basically told us to be the joy. And then as I showed you in the earlier video, that the idea that it was out and gone. Okay. This, <coughs> coming up now, So, we need to figure out, since that's upside down, okay, this is upside down, okay, we've always known that, okay, I've always told you that the idea that they're shooting this upside down because Navy gives us the right side up. Now we're starting to believe, well, I'm seeing why they did that, okay, because this is behind, okay, so you're all safe. And the idea that this is moving away. So don't let anybody try to just freak you out that something's coming to Earth. It's not. Okay. It's going back. And the idea you've seen from the video that the idea that this is a different object that came up off the sun. Either the sun, sun spits off a bigger comet from it coming by static. It picked up static electricity. And if you know how big the sun is, then you realize how humongous this is because this is bigger now as it moves away. Or the one thing I'm trying to make everybody understand is, is we've seen on this on Soho there was two, okay? And we've seen these other two bright objects before for a long time, okay? So is this the bigger, longer thing that I told you in the earlier videos, about three or four videos back when they first gave us the footage of this, is it a triangulation like we see here and this is the biggest brightest of it and it's moving away now because this is stereo behind all this stuff is stereo behind and it's blowed up to a thousand to get let you see remember they've got this upside down okay 
So the idea, don't let anybody think, make you think that that's coming towards Earth. It's not. Even if this is a head, which I think this is a head, but I'd like to see in a head shot of the idea that when it was coming. So, it's going behind the sun, okay? Because I showed you the tail before in the previous video, we showed you the tail. So go back to looking at the tail, the idea that this shot is from behind the sun and this is moving away from the sun behind it. So their looping might be right, but the idea that I don't, I think that there was more than one object coming in. Because as you can see, that the sun did a nice magic act on us. Because IE, there's no big tail when we play this. Okay, if we play this, there's no big tail. There's a big tail coming in, and it's bigger leaving, and there's no big tail going away. I.e., no matter what, there is a tail on it. We can see it, okay? But we don't see a tail in it going away here. So, more than likely, triangulation, there was more than one, and it was probably the big line that we have that is coming around now and coming back, okay? And the idea that it was like a triangulation that popped in and two of them popped back out. At least that we can see because we don't end up seeing this one because it's way up here. It's really impossible that it can make that big of a tight of a turn that fast. But it quite possibly is since we see all that stuff on Fireball all the time. But the idea that on the video it's doing a pretty good series. It's nice to be able to see but someone needs to come up with a frontal, frontal shot. Okay, Because this is all from this is from behind and then it'll end up coming back to behind. Okay, so here's Hawaii on the 15th through the 16th and as you can see they do a real good job. There was moisture up on the camera and then they clean it off. They do a real good job of keeping that clean. So, here we go. And as you again you see the flashes coming across on if you watch the time, pretty damn sure if I get it back far enough for that flash to come across, you watch the time. I really doubt that that's an airplane. It's too damn fast. You see how they go around. So it's light in space out there flopping around, folks. It's flopping around way up in space and mirroring on onto the Earth. Okay, And those objects, too damn fast, even for a satellite, folks. You go out at night and look at a satellite, and you know that that wasn't a satellite, those flashes going across. So those are meteorites, part of the asteroid belts or something. And this is our Rigel Cantaris B, or whatever the heck it is, and it's starting to show us even more up of how magic action it does. Check that out. So I need to go up higher. I'm going to back up a little bit on that. So i.e., there you can get the mirrors that come off of these two suns, okay? They actually mirror and make this and this and this and all this action. But there is two suns. There's that sun there. That's not our sun. That's Rigel Cantaris P. And you can see the other little sun right there with it going up. And there's your clock. Okay? So there you go. High in the sky. Must be freaking people out over in Hawaii. I'm so, I don't know, maybe you have to get up on top of the mountain to be able to see it, but there you go. As that's your little baby sun right there in front of Rigel Cantaris B. It's probably the, the one star I said that's 57%, and you can even see it when it first comes up too, it's dragging at the bottom. And this is just a mirror image of it, and that's what that blue, that blue and brown dwarf that we end up seeing. And there is your little baby sun right there that's in front of Rigel Cantaris B. And this is not the sun because there's your clock. Okay? 1 a.m. in the morning. Hawaii time. Hawaii time, folks. So right here we know as you see that come by real fast. You know that that was not it. So something else came by. So it's a hell of a triangulation because you've seen those there to the right. And I real solid is this Soho shot that shows you that and that. So the idea that there was way more than just Haley. And we're watching this go away because I've been taking pictures of this as it's moving away. 
This is Gorn towards Soho. So it's going away into Supergiants.